Greetings! I'm Mr. Sean. Welcome to my channel. And we're doing a continuation of Love at First Sight Visual Novel by Sekai Project. So let's check it out. Alright then. Off you go. With that, Mayumi steps aside and lets Sachi out onto the street. Yes, goodbye. We get a good distance away from Sachi's house before we start speaking again. I'm sorry about that. Why are you apologizing? I mean, I was surprised, but it seems like she was just worried about you. She probably just didn't want to have to deal with any trouble I might cause. Actually, I have no idea what she was thinking. Maybe such a right, after all. Whatever. Forget about that. Let's get going. Yeah, sir. We, we were about to start heading in the direction of the station, but... What's wrong? Huh? What do you mean? I was so distracted with thinking about Mayumi that I didn't notice that Sachi wearing casual clothing. This is the first time I've seen her in her anything other than her uniform. She's wearing a plain skirt and a worn out hoodie. I realized Sachi put her hood up and her head down as soon as we started walking. Do you, do you really have to walk that way? Uh, this is how I always do it. Do you not like it? No, uh... It's just really suspicious looking. I think it would be best if you took your, off the hood at least. It's suspicious looking? Yeah, when someone has their hood up and you can't see their face, don't you think that person looks kind of suspicious? Oh, I see. Is this how she always does it? Sorry. I don't know what it's like for her, but still, when she's with me, I don't want her to act weird like that. We're supposed to be walking together. I can't even see her face. Look, I know you usually try not to let people see you, but you're with me today, you know? No matter what happens, I'm right here next to you. Okay. Yeah, you're right. She's still anxious, and she's still keeping her head down, but at least she seems to have given up on the hoodie for now. Right, let's get going then, shall we? Okay. Many, many dots. And, wow. This is pretty cool artwork. I really enjoy the style. It's pretty nice. As I've, I like this. One of the reasons why I chose this light, this light novel, uh, visual novel, because it's beautiful graphics. Since it's the weekend, the street to the station has quite a few people on it, and that goes double for the shopping center. We have to go through to get there. The train itself isn't any better. It's so packed, in fact, that I don't think it's going to be possible to have any kind of conversation with Sachi until we arrive at our destination. That said, since our destination isn't particularly far away, it doesn't take that long to get there, and we both feel a little relieved once we get off the train. There sure are a lot of people out today. You okay? Yeah, I really don't use the train, so I'm startled to see so many people on it, but I'm alright. Great, then why don't we walk around and try to find somewhere to eat? Sure. We start walking toward an area that probably has a place that we can eat at. Actually, I already know where we're taking her, since I looked around for a good place beforehand, and smart man, already checking out the places to go, places to see. Oh, that's even better. I thought it'd be better to take Sachi to a quieter place where she can let her guard down while we talk, rather than a street with a lot of big shops and a ton of people. Smart guy. I tried to start a conversation with Sachi, but as I turn my head to look at her, She's nowhere to be found. And I immediately start to panic. <laughs> I quickly realize that she didn't actually disappear. She's just walking several meters behind me for some reason. Why? Weren't we supposed to be walking together? Sort of the idea. Sachi? I quickly turn around and close the distance between us. Yes, what is it? How can you be smiling like this? Oh, it's sort of odd. It's sort of all kilter. <laughs> it's like... Let's go someplace together. Okay. Where are you at, girl? And she's still somehow smiling about this. I don't know. <laughs> Poor girl. Uh, definitely you can sort of see how she's a little bit been cloistered. Very shut off from the world. You can definitely see that right, right now. Uh, do you not want to walk next to me or something? No, nothing like that. It's just... I don't know if you want to walk me... I don't know if you want me to walk next to you. 
Mm, why wouldn't I want you to? What? But if you walk next to me, people might think you know me. But I do know you. That's why I wanted to walk with you. Yeah, but... I understand what she's getting at. She definitely draws a lot of attention. As I saw that she got a lot of startled glances and stares from people we passed on the street as we were making our way here. I feel like a lot of them were overreacting, though. That's not exactly surprising to me, either. <clears throat> I guess it's only natural that she'd want to hide her face to avoid these stares. Maybe stopping her from wearing her hood up was not the best idea. Put your hood up if it makes you feel better. I want to walk next to you. But you said... She takes a half step backwards, putting a little more distance between us. I don't think there's anything wrong with being seen with you. Come on, don't run away. I close the half step distance and grab her hand to keep her there. And she blushed. Uh, huh? We're going to be seen together anyway, so we might as well walk together, right? I'm fine with it, but if you don't want to walk with me, just say so, and I'll let go of your hand. I do want to... But isn't this a little... Her voice becomes a whisper as she stares at the ground, but after a moment, she tilts her head up just enough to look at me. Senpai, is this really okay? Of course. I don't see anything wrong with it. Okay, then. Let's go. Thanks. Thank you. Her grip on my hand tightens ever so slightly. So... <laughs> Actually, I'm finding myself getting a little flustered as well, but I don't think I could let go of her hand even if I wanted to. With her hands clasped together, I start to worry that my grip on her hand is so tight, or that I'm walking too quickly for her. As I become aware of everything I could be doing wrong, I quickly start to feel very embarrassed. I'm so f too focused. Yeah, I'm too focused on these details to actually make a conversation with Sachi. <laughs> Poor guy, not getting flustered. I try to calm down. Force myself not to think about anything and focusing only on feelings of Sachi's hand in mine. Uh, <laughs> wait, force myself to not think about anything. Uh, wouldn't that make you more flustered, possibly? <laughs> Your slender hand is warm, and faintly I can feel that warmth flood into my own hand. She adjusts her grip, and rough spots on her otherwise smooth skin gently scrape against my palm. They feel like they might be scabs or something. Wait, didn't this hand have a bandage on it before? The shallow grooves on her soft hand are strangely alluring. I am constantly tracing them with my fingers. Sachi's own fingers twitch in response, but I'm not sure whether this is reflex or not. Hands are pretty sensitive. If you're moving your fingers around, I'm guessing it's a reaction. Ref definitely a reflex. <laughs> Thinking I offended her. I glance at Sachi only to find that she's already staring at me with her one big eye. Uh, sorry. It's fine. You're just turning me on, senpai. I uh, was just wondering, like, are those scars in your hands? I wanted to feel them to make sure. It's okay, you can touch them if you want. Blood rushes to her smiling face, and I think mine probably turns just as red. The, the heck of a... Uh, do you want to have lunch there? I saw it when I was looking for a good place to eat before we came. I heard good things about it. I point at the first place I see that looks like it might serve food. So much for the place I had planned to take us to. Oops. It wasn't the most elegant way of changing the subject, but I can't take the embarrassment. Oh, it looks nice. Do you want to get lunch now then? Well, it's still a little early for lunch. Maybe we could wander around a bit more and come back later. That's true. Okay, let's come back later. And with that, Sachi's hold on my hand grows tighter. This time I squeeze back. Hello, lovebirds. If we didn't look like a couple when we left, we certainly do now. <laughs> At least he's realizing it. After that, we explored the area a bit. And I enjoyed that. But we didn't say much to each other. I thought it was uncomfortable silence. Sometimes I'd look over to Sachi, and no matter where she was looking, she was always wearing a cheerful expression. Aren't you getting bored of just wandering around? No, 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 not at all. Even just walking around like this is fun. There's so much to see, and all these stores look interesting. Really? 
Well, if you see a story you like, let me know. We can stop and take a look inside if you want. I don't think I'd buy anything, though. We can just browse. One thing leads to another, though. Even if you don't plan on buying anything, there's nothing wrong with looking, you know. I suppose not. Hey, this one looks interesting, don't you think? I stop in front of one of the stores we're passing. Peeking in through the open double doors, we see the store has a trendy atmosphere with big decorations. It's selling accessories, clothing, and other classy looking merchandise. This isn't really anything for us here for someone who doesn't care about the latest fashions and trends, but at least there are still a lot of unusual things to look at. I've never seen a, I've never been in a store like this. Maybe if you can find something you like, how about this? I take something I think such might like off the display, just outside the door, and offer it to her. These are sunglasses? Did he really offer her a pair of sunglasses? What ones would fit her? She's so confused. Try them on. Uh, okay. She puts the sunglasses over her face, which now looks even more puzzled. That's totally natural, of course. Yeah, because in the middle of her eye, there's going to be a big, huge thing right there blocking her vision. These sunglasses with, her, with their two lenses are only making it harder for her with her one eye to see. Yeah. They obviously don't suit her, but her reaction is too adorable and charming. <laughs> oh, Mamaru. Sorry, I don't know what I was thinking. Are, are you making fun of me, Senpai? She suddenly becomes obviously depressed. I really should have been more sensitive about her eye. No, I'm really sorry. I didn't... I won't do anything like that again. Yeah, that's a... Come on, guy. Uh, that's... No. Bad idea. <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh! <laughs> oh, I'm just joking. Just her, a little payback. I haven't turned the tables on me. She can't help but let her smile slip back onto her face. That's progress right there. Progress. We're making progress, guys. I didn't expect her to pull something like that. Man, I can't believe you got me with that. Seriously, though, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be more considerate of your... It's okay, it's okay. I know you didn't mean anything by it. That's true, but still. Anyway, I suggest we check out their store. But actually, I think it's about time we ate lunch. Sure. Let's go find that cafe again. Sachi doesn't seem to be upset at me at all, but I'm a little disappointed that she won't get a chance to check out the store. Well, you change subject so fast, man. You should just you just said that you know what? Let's get to the store fast. <laughs> just that's it. You change subject to the lunch. You could have seen subject to the store. But I digress. I take one last look inside, and one of the shells catches my eye. Hey, which do you like best out of blue, green, or orange? Uh, well, orange. Why? No reason. Or, well, wait here, wait here a sec. Okay. I run into the store, leaving Sachi, who is generally confused this time, behind. Sorry about that. That was quick. Did you buy something? Yeah, look. Ah. I show the cell phone strap to Sachi. It's a simple orange flower dangling off a green string made to look like a stem. Oh, how cute. Is that for your cell phone? No. Your cell phone. Uh, mine? Why? I guess, uh, something to remember the day by? What? No, no, I, I couldn't. You hang on to it, senpai. Even if I did, I, I wouldn't use it. Yeah, a guy having a flower cell phone strap. Not the coolest thing to wear, have on your cell phone strap, assuredly. Um, some people could, sure. Well, well, let me pay for it then. I just bought it on a whim. Don't worry about it. Think of it as a thanks for hanging out with me today. Please take it. Are you sure? Of course, it wasn't that expensive anyways, so don't feel like you owe me one. Well, okay. Thank you very much. No problem. I noticed your phone doesn't have any kind of decorations on it, so I figured that you might like it. But if you don't, you don't have to put it on your phone or anything. No, really. It's really cute. I think it's lovely. I'll, I'll put it on right now. Just spice it up a little bit. 
Ah, hello, fire truck. <laughs> if it's on my, if it's getting recorded anyway, I'm sorry about the fire truck. Looks good. I was afraid the color might be too bright, but if it's the only one hanging there, it actually looks out, actually works out nicely. Yeah, I agree. Thank you so much, my motor senpai. She looks so happy, tightly grasping her phone and smiling at the strap. My pleasure. Anyway, we should start heading to the cafe. We have a little time to spare, but the place isn't crowded. Blah, blah, but the place is crowded. We'll never get in before the movie starts unless we go now. Yes. Right, let's go. Um, senpai? For some reason, Sanchez's voice seems to be quavering as she calls out for me. Huh? I think I can guess what she's about to say, but I don't know if she's thought it through. A few months past the silence. Then I wordlessly take her hand. Aha! Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Sanji doesn't say anything else, and instead just squeezes my hand tightly as we start walking. Before long, we arrive at the cafe we found earlier. Luckily, there aren't too many people, and we find a table more or less immediately. <laughs> It's warm enough today that sitting outside is comfortable, so we take one of the outdoor tables and start looking through the menu. I wonder if we should get a sandwich or not. I'm not sure I'm that hungry. A sandwich does sound good. Ooh, this looks delicious. It doesn't take long for us to decide. We still place our orders. As we're waiting for our food, Sachi's gaze keeps drifting onto me, only to flit away as soon as I notice. It seems like she wants to say something, but she's not sure how to say it. What's up? Senpai? Um... Do you want to touch my scars? Uh, this takes me off guard that I'm starting like an idiot. <laughs> Understandably. What I... Uh, what do you mean? Nothing. It's just... You are touching them before, so I thought you might want to... Oh, I see. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say in this situation. Mm-hmm. I hear, since I met you, you've done so much for me, Mamoru Senpai. But I've never done anything, even one thing for you. I want to do something to repay you for all the times you've made me happy. But I can't really think of anything. I don't know, holding holding your hand, eh, that's a pretty big step in one sense. It also means many other things as well, but... <clears throat> Sorry, that was a really good thing to ask. Please just forget about it. I get the feeling that Sachi thinks she owes me a debt. She really doesn't have that much social experience after all. I think about the strange pr proposal for a bit. I realize that she really is trying to repay me in her own way. Uh, well, yeah, sure. Huh? Your scars. I want to... Er, touch them. Can I? I can't think of this as repaying her debt. Just as being able to be with her is reward enough... Though saying that to her probably won't change her mind anyway. I feel like her letting me touch her scars will somehow lighten the burden she carries every day, even if it's a strange thing to do. This is for Sachi's sake. I did not. I did ask to. You did try to. But it's not like I actually wanted to feel her scars. Or at least that's how I should feel. Well, yes. Go ahead. Trembling, she puts her right hand on the table. Thanks. But essentially touching another person's injuries like this is really weird, and I feel apprehensive about doing it. Before, I only felt them because we were holding hands, but this time, I'm doing it on purpose, and the girl's hand is obviously much smaller than mine. The scars cover more of her palm than I th thought they might. Now that I can see them closely, it looks like they're mostly healed. The bandages that cover them seem to have been removed a few days ago, and pain or bleeding must have subsided by now. I rub my thumb along the smooth outline of the scars tracing them. There's not much left of the scabs. That, that must have covered these scars only a few years ago. I never got a good look at them until now. They aren't as rough as I thought they might be. I glide my thumb along the inside of her palm cruise, then back out to the edges. I'm just saying, I don't know about you, but I don't know. this feels this seems weird. <laughs> do kids do this these days? Is that one of those weird stuff that goes around that you just wonder why the next the next generation behind you is like, why do you guys do this? It's one of those things to me. Scabs still occupy the very center of her scars. She probably she would probably start bleeding again if the scabs were pricked off. <clears throat> These scabs will probably start falling off soon, actually. 
Oh, that's good to see. I'm sure they were huge when they were fresh, though. Skin outlining the scabs is bright pink and closer to the center, white. The center of the scar is sunken, as though part of her palm was cut out. Sorry, what? I let my thumb creep into the depression. Mm. Sachi's hands shudders under my touch. Sorry, did that hurt? No, it didn't. That part is still sensitive as all. I'm fine, don't worry. I look about Sachi apologetically and see that her face has become much redder than when we entered the cafe. I can't imagine why. Having someone examine her hands so intensely in public would probably be embarrassing for anyone. I try rubbing her scar a little bit. Uh. <laughs> you went from slightly awkward to full on awkward. I probably should be enjoying this so much, but sometimes when I put pressure on her hand, she makes a really cute expression as she flinches ever so slightly. Oh, she's adorable in these moments. Seeing this makes me want to run the power of her scat that's silly. <laughs> Dude. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah. I come out of my trance with a start as the waitress brings our food on a fold-out platter. I hurriedly gives Sachi back her hand, leaving the table clear, and the waitress puts our sandwiches in front of us. Do you need anything else? Oh no, th no thank you. When she brought her food, the waitress looked at Sachi over curiously, and then, as she left, shot me a strange, almost wary glance. She probably saw what you were doing the entire time as she was walking up going, What are you doing? I guess I really deserve that, though. I was too ashamed to look at Sachi now. <laughs> Darn right, you deserve that. Oh my gosh, kiddo. Um, thanks, Sachi. Yeah, if you want to touch him again, just ask. Oh, my cute little weird Cyclops. Oh, uh, what? She actually wants me to touch him again? No, no way. I shouldn't even touch him in the first place. Um, well, our food's here. Let's eat. Right. Good transition. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty good. How's yours? Mine's good, too. I'm glad we came here. Things got pretty awkward between us after that, and even a normal conversation feels out of place. I don't know. After you go to a hand rubbing, where do you start off with the conversation? Where? Where do you go? <laughs> where do you go from there? Please, someone in the comments, tell me. Go from rubbing someone's palm ever so delicately, if not soothingly, causing her to give little cutesy sounds out of her. And then tell me, where do you take the conversation from? Comment. I think it's about time we headed to the movie. Okay. We finished lunch and it seems a little like the awkward atmosphere between us has cleared up. Uh -huh. I think we'll get there a little early. But at least we can get good seats this way. If we get there too late, the seats will be filled up. And we'll get stuck in the very back of the theater. Oh, would we? We head towards the place where the movie is being shown. We're not that far away, though. So it only takes a few minutes to get there. <clears throat> this is it. There are already people lining up. It looks... Oh, oops, wrong voice. Looks like it. They'll probably let everyone in soon, though. I can't wait to see the movie. Yeah, I hope it's a good one. Hope it's not too awkward one either. The movie is less than two hours long, and we soon find ourselves out in the front of the theater again, a stretch and breathe in the cool evening air, happy to, to be moving around again after sitting inside for so long. That movie was great, wasn't it? Yeah, better than I thought it was going to be. The story is about a mischievous child who gets put into a boarding school, makes some friends, and works with, with his teacher to make their school play a success. Coming of age story. Yay! It's a lot like this one. Hmm... Well not, well, not, you know, overall storyline, but it's a coming-of-age theme. And definitely, uh, at this point, with her being a little, a little monster girl, acceptance in society. It's based off of children's books, so the whole thing is fun and lighthearted. We discussed what we thought about the movie. Sachi seems to have loved it, but eventually her voice gets quieter, and she starts hanging her head again. The main character, she had a lot of friends, and a nice teacher, and they're able to win it in a tough situation. It's, uh... A really nice story. Probably reading into it 
herself a little too far thinking how that applies to her life, I bet. Maybe if I was born a normal person, I'd be stronger like him. She gets quieter and quieter, and eventually I can barely make out what she's saying. I'm not sure if she's talking to me anymore. Hey, Sachi. Oh, yes? Earlier you were saying how you wanted to repay me for what I've done for you, right? You know, just getting to be with you is enough for me. I know I can't decide for her what she thinks no matter how many times I say that, but we spent all day together. That shows how I feel pretty clearly, doesn't it? I know I said this before, but I'm here for you no matter what. Anything you need, I'll help however I can. I don't know if I can be considered a good-natured person, but I can say for sure that I care for her from the bottom of my heart. What I felt when I first saw her can only be described as love at first sight. The more I tell Sachi how I feel, the more time we spend together, the stronger our bond will get. I feel like I can't take my eyes off her now. I mean, not that I can help that much. I can't do what's impossible for me. And there are some things I won't do anyway. I don't want to impose on you, Senpai. Sachi is just as stubborn as always when it comes to another person helping her. I don't... I know I want to... I know I won't get her to just meekly accept this like she does with everything else. I'm not giving up, though. Even if she doesn't want to impose on me, I want to be by her side. I want to make sure she can keep smiling. I thank you for the offer. I'm really glad that we got to meet Maru Senpai. I'm much happier now than I was before. But, you know, there's still a lot of fun things we can do. Oh, I know. I wanted to introduce you to my friends so that we can all hang out together. Your friends? Are you sure that's a good idea? <laughs> totally, trust me. They're good people, and besides, I've already told them about you. If you think it's okay, well, all right. I'll look forward to meeting them then. Great. Oh, we should probably start heading home, shouldn't we? It's not actually that late, but sun is setting and it's starting to get dark. At this point, it's probably best to do what Sachi's aunt wanted and head straight home. Yes, it's getting late. Um, actually, can, can I ask a favor? What do you need? Um, can we hold hands on the way home? Heck yes, little girl. Yeah, I think that's a pay record, Grant. I think Sachi's hand in mine without hesitation. I feel the warmth of her hand as she squeezes mine, and suddenly it feels like the day when she let herself rely on me isn't too far off. Definitely a helping hand. Where's those sound effects? Oh, there should be a little bit of sound effects. That would, that would have been even more adorable. Oh my gosh. Her side. Glass bell. Well, actually, we'll get to her side in just a moment. Uh, next time. So thank you for joining me. This, this is definitely a cute little date that they had. A real enjoyable time. A little awkward at times. <laughs> Seriously, in the comments, please tell me, what's the conversation you start after that? Where? What do you do? Leave <laughs> it down below. So, cool. We're back at school. I'm guessing her side is going to be what's been happening on her from her angle. So, that might be... That's what I'm hoping to see. So, thanks for joining me. This extra, little extra long scenario, uh, extra long video today. Please leave a comment down below if you like this video. If you like this story, leave a comment if you have any additional visual novels that you're interested in having me commentate, commentate, narrate over. Please subscribe to catch on to more of my videos that are coming out for Let's Plays, this this visual novel, Love at First Sight, unbox, unboxings of Japanese treats, uh, softrip.com mini crates, more wild cooking videos. Basically, a bunch of hobbies that I enjoy and want to share with you on, on my YouTube channel. I am Mr. Son. Thank you very much. Good night.